walk of the life journey. Glory to God. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And thank you if this is your first time. Before you leave, subscribe to the red button and the notification bar and saying that I'm going to trust in everything that the man of God is speaking into my life. Today my assignment is how long are you in two opinions? How long are you waiting for the real God to show up in your life? How long, Lord to God, do you need more evidence that God is real? How long, Lord to God, what is it going to take you to believe that God still exit even though you heard all that's going on in this world there is still a god and he's sovereign there's still a god and he's merciful he's still a god and he loves you so much for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life how long are you between two opinion if the lord be god serve him so my psalm is first uh, uh, Kings 18 chapter verse 21 and the Bible say let's say verse 20 is it so Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel and Elijah came unto all the people and said how long or to between two opinion if the Lord be God follow him but if Balaam then follow him and the people answer him not a word the two kind of people the people that serve the devil and the people that serve God how long or tea between two opinion my friend it should be by now that you know that the God of Israel still exists if you in a doubting mood, I want to trust the God to build you out of situation and go to God. We at a point right now, go to God. In this chapter, we see that how people was trusting Balaam. And people were still wondering if there's a God that he still exists. So Elijah say, gather all the people, gather all the people and let's do a battle of the God. And the God that answered by fire, that's the God that you ought to serve. And the Bible is told, go to God, say that God told uh, to, to Elijah to tell Baal and prophet they can go first. And then how, go to God, they went first. Listen, my friend, in verse 26, and uh, let's read. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on Balaam. They called on a fake God from morning unto noon saying oh Balaam hear us but there was no voice your God is not going to answer you because your God is just there he got eyes and can't see he got ears and can't hear he got hands and can't handle he got feet and can't move so the Bible said the, the, the Balaam prophet was calling on Balaam and Balaam didn't answer listen what I say but there was no voice nor any answer and they leaped upon the altar which was made so it was calling on Balaam now your God is not going to answer you how long are we between two opinions? Why are we playing the lottery? Why are we trusting in uncertain riches? We only trust in the word of God. The Bible says, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, but I'll be with you all the way unto the end of time. Why are you trusting the witch? Why are you trusting the voodoo? Because voodoo, you don't know who do. But I come to tell you today, you ought to trust the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible that Abraham trusts. The God of the Bible that Jacob trusts. And the God of the Bible that Isaac trusts. I'm talking about the God that Joseph trusts. He go to God. And the Bible says, my friend, 
verse 26 and it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them he glory to God what he did and he said cry loud he told glory to God the Balaam prophet to call to cry loud to Balaam my friend I'm gonna stop by to tell you the God of the Bible is real don't let nobody convince you don't let nobody fool you don't let nobody tell you this is a white man religion my friend white man ain't got nothing to do with religion black man ain't got nothing to do with religion it's all about a spirit and God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth but Elijah mocked them and said cry aloud for he is a God yes you, the people that worship statue they are foolish because the statue they have have no power the statue they have they can't move them can't heal them can't talk to them and what happened my friend neither is he talking or is he in a pursuit or in a journey or prevention he's sleeping my friend I'm so glad our God don't slumber, don't sleep. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God don't sleep. So, Elijah was saying, prevent you, he sleep and must be waking. And Elijah said, and they cry loud and cut themselves as the matter with knives and lectures till the blood gushed out of them. And it came to pass when midnight, when midday was past, that the prophet unto the time of the offering of the evil sacrifice, there was neither voice nor any answer or any that regard. Listen, my friend, I'm talking to somebody out there. You are between two opinions. You want to wonder, is the God of the Bible real or the God that my father been teaching me about? But it's a statue. I come to tell you, my friend, the God of the Bible is real and people my friend perhaps a many are called but few are chosen there are many people that worshiping idols there are many people that worshiping statue there are many people got lucky charm in their pocket a lot of people got lucky charm around their neck they got a, they got a pet a picture of buddha on their desk but i stop by to tell you how long or keep between two opinions if the lord be god will serve him will what a honor him don't don't be wishy-washy don't be swinging go to God on two sides of the foot it's time for you to be on the Lord's side if you're on the Lord's side you will be on the Lord's side so the Bible say my friend go to God and Elijah said unto all the people come there he says time for God to show up <laughs> hallelujah glory to God I'm talking to somebody out there right now you're between two opinions you're wondering is there a God yes there's a God there's a God that rules earth there's a God that controls every button on this universe and his name is Jesus hallelujah but I would say every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father and the Bible said, and Elijah said, I'm, very, I'm reading verse, verse 30, of First King 18, verse 30. And Elijah said unto the people, come here. And all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. He go to God, bearing prophets, they broke down the altar. And Elijah is repairing it. And listen what they say, Bible say, in verse 31, go to God, and Elijah took 12 stones. The poor stone was the indication of the children of Israel, a tribe of the son of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord saying, Israel shall be thy name. I'm telling people that's watching this video right now, it's time for you to trust God. Stop trusting the lottery. It's time you trust God. Stop trusting the witches. It's time to trust. The, stop trusting the voodoo doctors. You to trust the God of Israel. The God of Israel still rules. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! In verse uh, thirty-two says, "And with the stone he built the altar in the name of the Lord, and he made trenches about the altar, and a great as would contain the two measure of seed." And he, he building the altar and trying to tell people, my friend, God answer by fire. Huh? I'm talking about the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, and the God of Israel. He still rules. Huh? 
Hallelujah. God still in control. And the Bible say, hey, glory to God. When he did this, verse 34, and he, he did it, do it the second time, and they did it the second time, and he said, do it the third time, and they did it the third time, and the water ran out the altar, and he filled the trench with water. Verse 36, my friend, and it came to pass at the time of the offering of the even sacrifice, Elijah prophet come near and said, Lord God of Abraham, who? Lord God of Abraham, who is Abraham? The father of faith and, and Isaac, his son of promise, and Israel, Jacob. Let it be known this day that thou art the God in Israel. I'm telling somebody right now, on the sound of my voice, it's time for you to believe in God, the invisible God. God is not a statue. How long on TV team to opinion? It's time to stop being opinionated. It's time to trust in the God of Israel. Hey, glory to God. And the Bible say, my friend, that I, that, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, and this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their back again. Elijah was telling the people, it's time for them to turn their back to God. Ah, I'm telling you right now, on the sound of my voice, it's time for you to stop being in too many opinions. Stop listening to people and listen to the Prince of Peace. Stop listening to people and listen to potentate. The potentate, the president, is Jesus. It's not Trump. It's not Bush. It's not Clinton. It's not Hallelujah. It's Jesus. He glory to God. And the Bible say, then the fire of the Lord fell. And consume the burnt offering and the wood and the stone and the dust and lick up the water that was in the trench. And this is what happened. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they say, The Lord, He is the God, the God, He is the, the God. And listen, my friend, I stopped by to tell somebody out there, you're listening, and I'm trying to tell you how long are you opinionated about whether there's a God. There's a God, and his name, they might call him Yahshua, but I call him Jesus, because that's all I know. He wrote to God. I know it's Greek, but I speak English, and his name is Jesus. Whatever do word or deed, do all in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, verse 40, And Elijah said unto them, Take the prophet of Balaam, and let none of them escape. Man, don't let them escape, because they're fallacy. They're fake. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the book Kishon, and slew them there. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, and eat and drink for there's a sound of abundant rain if somebody out there you've been dried up for too long you've been sick too long you've been broke too long you've been you've been angry too long i hear the sound of abundant of rain i go to god there's abundant of rain coming your way but how long aren't you between two opinions it's time for you to stand still and see the salvation of God. It's time for you to stop being stimulated by people, what people are saying. What do you say? Because people are going to be around in the midnight hour. People are going to be around when you're all by yourself. It's time for you to decide which God are you serving. My God is not money. My God is not sex. My God is not fame. My God is not a statue. My God is invisible. My God, I don't carry my God around in my pocket. I don't carry my God as a statue. My God, glory to God, is in me. He glory, that's what the Bible says. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercy of God, that present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy, says the God, which is a really the servant, be not confirmed in this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you have a right mind, you won't be thinking that there's many gods. There's only one God, and his name is Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. What do you say, a preacher? Because the Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 3, all things were made by him. Without him was nothing made. Jesus Christ is God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was God. Say in the beginning with God, all things were made by him. Who's him? Jesus. So I'm telling people, how long are key between two opinions? It's time for you to stop being opinionated about whether there's a God or not. By now you should know whether there's a God. There's a God you woke up this morning. There's a God that gave you a job. There's a God that you're not in the hospital. There's a God because God touched you. Who touched you? It was an alarm clock. It was your honey. Hallelujah. It was God that touched you. And the same God that touched you, he knows about our problems. Glory to God, hallelujah. How long are she between two opinions? I hear the sound of abundant rain in your life. But you got to trust in God. 